crews are out here working as you can see behind me and they've actually been here since this morning working on down telephone poles like this one and they say they have many more to go still because of the storm from last night. Damage from last night's storm is evident in the city of Crane. It was real bad and this, the wind is strong and I'm scared about it. Everything is okay. But I know when I was driving in this morning, there's a lot of power poles, you know, broke over and not, whatnot. Had everything closed down. That's about it. They said there was a lot of high winds last night, so a bad storm blew through here. So the Wilbro crews say they're working as quickly as they can. Uh, hopefully, they'll get it fixed so everybody can get back to business. Many in town were wondering how this happened in such a short amount of time, leaving this mess behind. So we asked CBS 7 Zone Weather Director Craig Stewart to lay it out for us. One big reason was earlier in the evening we'd seen the showers and thunderstorms in the eastern basin. Well, that laid out an outflow boundary which moved from the eastern basin toward the western basin. On top of that, we had a Pacific front that was moving from the west to the east. These boundaries got really close once they collided. Up went the thunderstorms and it went up quickly late at night. Although many might not have known the scientific reasoning, the outcome was obvious. But there is one benefit. More rain, we'll take the wind, just bring some rain. People in the city say that they'll probably be cleaning up for the next couple of days. And while they're unhappy about the mess, they are happy to be getting some rain. In Crane, Sarah Strackhouse, CBS 7 News.